The King James Bible, the Book of Samuel, Chapter 3. And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. And it came to pass at that time, when Eli was laid down in his place, and his eyes began to wax dim, that he could not see. And ere the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was, and Samuel was laid down to sleep. And the Lord called Samuel, and he answered, Here am I. And he ran unto Eli, and said, Here am I, for thou calledest me. And he said, I called not, lie down again. And he went and lay down. And the Lord called yet again, Samuel. And Samuel rose and went to Eli, and said, Here I am, for thou didst call me. And he answered, I called not, my son, lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, neither was the word of the Lord yet revealed unto him. And the Lord called Samuel again the, th the third time. And he arose and went to Eli, and said, Here I am, for thou didst call me. And Eli perceived that the Lord had called the child. Therefore Eli said unto Samuel, Go, lie down, and it shall be, if he call, call thee, thou should, that thou shalt say, Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. And the Lord came and stood, and called at other, as at other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel answered, Speak, for thy servant heareth. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Behold, I will do a thing in Israel, at which both the ears of every one that heareth it shall tingle, in the day that I perform against Eli all things, <clears throat> which I have spoken concerning his house. When I begin, I will also make an end. For I have told him that I will judge his house forever for the inequity which he knoweth, because his sons made themselves vile, and he restrained them not. And therefore I have sworn unto the house of Eli that the inequity of Eli's house shall not be purged with sacrifice nor offering forever. And Samuel lay until the morning and opened the doors of the house of the Lord. And Samuel feared to shew Eli the vision. Then Eli called Samuel and said, Samuel, my son. And he answered, Here am I. And he said, What is this the thing that the Lord hath said unto thee? I pray thee, hide it not from me. God do not, God do so to thee, and more also if thou hide anything from me of all the things that he said unto thee. And Samuel told him every wit and hid nothing from him. And he said, It is the Lord. Let him do what seemeth him good. And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him, and did let none of his words fall to the ground. And all Israel from Dan, even to Beersheba, knew that Samuel was established to be a prophet of the Lord. And the Lord appeared again in Shiloh, and the Lord revealed himself to Samuel in Shiloh by the word of the Lord. Chapter 4 And the word of Samuel came to all Israel. Now Israel went out against the Philistines to battle, and pitched beside Ebenezer, and the Philistines pitched in Aphek. And the Philistines put themselves in array against Israel, and when they joined battle, Israel was smitten before the Philistines, and they slew of the army in the field of about four thousand men. And when the people come, were come into the camp, the elders of Israel said, Wherefore hath the Lord smitten us this day before the Philistines? Let us fetch the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of Shiloh unto us, that when it cometh among us, it may save us of the hand, out of the hand of our enemies. So the people sent to Shiloh, and that they might bring from thence the ark of the covenant of the Lord of hosts, which dealeth between the cherubims and the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, were with the ark of the covenant of God. And when the ark of the covenant of the Lord came into the camp, all Israel shouted with a great shout, so that the earth rang again. And when the Philistines heard the noise of the shout, they said, What meaneth the noise of this great shout in the camp of the Hebrews? And they understood that the ark of the Lord was come into the camp. And the Philistines were afraid, for they said, God is come into the camp. And they said, Woe unto us, for there hath not been such a thing here to for. Woe unto us, who shall deliver us out of the hand of these, might, of these mighty gods. These are the gods that smote the Egyptians and all the plagues in the wilderness. Be strong and quit yourselves like men, O ye Philistines, that ye be not servants unto the Hebrews as they have been to you. Quit yourselves like men and fight. And the Philistines fought, and Israel was smitten, and they fled every man into his tent. And there was a very great slaughter, for there, there fell of Israel thirty thousand footmen. 
And the ark of God was taken, and the two sons of Eli, Hophni, and Phinehas were slain. And there ran a man of Benjamin out of the army, and came to Shiloh the same day with his clothes rent, and with the earth upon his head. And he said, And when he came, lo, Eli sat upon the seat by the wayside, watching, for his heart trembled for the ark of God. And when the man came into the city, he told it, and they all cried out. And when Eli heard the noise of the crying, he said, What meaneth the noise of this tumult, that the man came in hastily and told Eli? Now Eli was ninety and eight years old, and his eyes were dim, and he could not see. And the man said unto Eli, I am he that came out of the army, I, and I fled today out of the army. And he said, What is there done, my son? And the messenger answered and said, Israel is fled before the Philistines. And there hath been also a great slaughter among the people. And thy two sons also, Hophni and Phinehas, are dead, and the ark of God is taken. And it came to pass, when he made mention of the ark of God, that he fell from off the seat backward by the side of the gate, and his neck brake, and he died. For he was an old man and heavy, and he judged Israel forty years. And his daughter-in-law, Phinehas's wife, was with near child to be delivered. And when she heard of the tidings the ark of God was taken, and that her father-in-law and her husband were dead, she bowed herself and travailed, for her pains came upon her. And about the time of her death, the woman that stood by her said unto her, Fear not, for thou hast borne a son. But she answered not, neither did she regard it. And she named the child I I Ichabod, Ichabod? saying, The glory is departed from Israel, because the ark of God was taken, and because her father-in-law and her husband. And she said, The glory is departed from Israel, for the ark of God is taken. Chapter 5 And the Philistines took the ark of God and brought it from Ebenezer unto Ashdod. Ashdod. When the Philistines took the ark of God, they brought it into the house of Dagon and set it by Dagon. And they of Ashdod arose early on the morrow. Behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the earth before the ark of the Lord. And they took Dagon and set him up in his place again. And when they arose early in the morrow morning, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face on the ground before the ark of the Lord. And the head of Dagon and both palms of his hand were cut off from upon the threshold. Only the stump of Dagon was left to him. Therefore neither the priests of Dagon nor any that came into Dagon's house tread on the threshold of Dagon in Ashdod unto this day. But the hand of the Lord was heavy upon them of Ashdod, and he destroyed them and smote them with emerods, even Ashdod and the coasts thereof. And when the men of Ashdod saw that it was so, they said, The ark of God of Israel shall not abide with us, for his hand is sore upon us and upon Dagon our God. And sent therefore and gathered all the lords of the Philistines unto them, and said, What shall we do with the ark of the God of Israel? And they answered, Let the ark of God of Israel be carried about unto Gath. And they carried the ark of the God of Israel about thither. And it was so that after they had carried it about, the hand of the Lord was against the city with very great destruction. And he smote the men of the city, both small and great, and they had emeralds in their secret parts. Therefore they sent the ark of God to Ekron, and it came to pass, as the ark of God came to Ekron, that the Ekronots cried out, saying, They have brought about the ark of God of Israel to us, to slay us and our people. So they sent and gathered together all the lords of the Philistines, and said, Send away the ark of the God of Israel, and let it go again to his own place that it slay us not and our people, for there was a deadly destruction throughout all the city. The hand of God was very heavy there, and the men that died not were smitten with the emeralds, and the cry of the city went up to heaven. Chapter 6 And the ark of the Lord was in the country of the Philistines seven months. And the Philistines cried for the priests and the diviners, saying, What shall we do to the ark of the Lord? Tell us whether we shall send it to his place. And they said, If ye send away the ark of God of Israel, send it not empty, but in any wise return him a trespass offering, that ye shall be healed, and it shall be known that to you why his hand is not removed from you. Then they said, What shall be the trespass offering which we shall return to him? 
They answered five golden emeralds and five golden mice, according to the number of the lords of the Philistines. For one plague was on you all and on your lords. Wherefore ye shall make Im make images of your emeralds and images of your mice that mar the land, and ye shall give glory to God of Israel. Peradventure he will lighten his hands from you, off you, and from off your gods, and not from off your land. Wherefore then do ye harden your hearts, as the Egyptians and Pharaoh hardened their hearts, when he had wrought wonderfully among them? Did they not let the people go, and they departed? Now therefore make a new cart, and take two mil milch kine, and which there hath come no yoke, and tie the kine to the cart, and bring the their calves home from them, and take the ark of the Lord, and lay it upon the cart, and put the jewels of gold which ye return him for a trespass offering, in a coffer by the side thereof, and send it away that it may go, and see that if it goeth up by the way of his own coast by Beth Shemesh, then he hath done us a great evil, but if not, then he shall know that it is not his hand that smote us, it was a chance that happened to us. And the men did so, and took two milch kine, and tied them to the cart, and shut up their calves at home. And they laid the ark of the Lord upon the cart, and the coffer with the mice of gold, and the images of their emeralds. And the kine took the, the straight way to the way of Beth Shemesh, and went along the highway, lowing as they went, and turned not aside to the right hand or to the left. And the lords of the Philistines went after them, unto the border of Beth Shemesh. And they of Beth Shemesh were reaping the wheat of the harvest in the valley, and they lifted up their eyes and saw the ark, and rejoiced to see it. And the cart came into the field of Joshua, a Beth Shemite, and stood there, and where there was a great stone. And they clave the wood of the cart, and offered the kind a burnt offering unto the Lord. And the Levites took down the ark of the Lord, and the coffer that was with it, wherein the jewels of gold were, and put them on the great stone. And the men of Beth Shemash offered burnt offerings and sacrificed sacrifices the same day unto the Lord. And when the five lords of the Philistines had seen it, they returned to Ekron the same day. And these are the golden emeralds which the Philistines returned for a trespass offering un unto the Lord. For Ashdod one, for Gaza one, for Ascalon one, for Gath one, for Ekron one. And in and the golden mice, according to the number of all the cities of the Philistines, belonging to the five lords, both of fenced cities and of the country villages, even to, unto the great stone of Abel, whereon they set down the ark of the Lord, which stone remaineth unto this day in the field of Joshua at Beth Shemite. And he smote the men of Beth Shemesh, because they had looked into the ark of the Lord. Even he smote the people fifty thousand and threescore and ten men, and the people lamented because the Lord had smitten many of the people with a great slaughter. And the men of Beth Shemesh said, Who is able to stand before the Lord, this holy Lord God? And to whom shall he go up from us? And they sent messengers to the inhabitants of Kirjajerim, saying, The Philistines have brought again the ark of the Lord. Come ye down and fetch it up to you.